Yo, what's up guys, it's Handy Design, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my player treatment. Um, I've made a few videos on this, but I've since changed the way I do it a little bit, and I think uh, this way is the best, so for me at least, so I'm going to be showing you all that in this video, and let's get into it. Alright, so we have our picture right here of Josh Allen. The first thing we're going to do is go to Filter, and we're going to add a camera raw. It's the first thing we're going to do. I like to zoom into his face a bit, because that's the most important part almost that you want to be focusing on I like to turn up my contrast and turn down my highlights turn up my shadows a bit right there turn up this texture turn up this clarity I wouldn't just copy my settings either guys you need a it's different for every picture for me it's different every picture I basically do mess with the same setting almost though every picture just put in a little bit of noise a little bit less we'll leave it about right there you'll see that before and after just like that next thing we're going to do is go to adjustments levels right here and all we're going to do is turn this middle one right here to the right and you're going to see the darks sort of just get darker that's what we're looking for we want them to get pretty dark I'll pull it back a little bit actually and we'll just make this right one a little darker some people like to use exposure because what we're about to do is bring out these highlights I like to use the levels because kind of helps you out a little bit more I feel like we're going to take our sorry guys I'm kind of not we're going to take our brush right here and make sure our hardness says 0 our flow we're going to put down to 8 alright 8 or 9 somewhere around there and we're going to be on our white brush what we're going to do is zoom in to all these little shadows right here. We're just going to paint in just like this, guys. It's like this. You just want to make them real dark. It's going to give them sort of like a, a 3D look. All these shadows. I'll go through it a little bit with you guys because I know some... Uh, people may be confused on like what are the shadows what are the highlights and stuff like that but any little wrinkle in here you're going to want to hit with this uh, shadows right here but I'm going to go into a time lapse right now you guys get the idea and I'll see y'all Alright guys, you can see that before and after right there of the, when we added the shadows, looks like we actually missed a few in here, so we'll just go ahead and hit those real quick again, just like this, these right here, and these, and then we'll hit this, grab lightly like that, there we go with our shadows, those are all of them done. And before and after the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our adjustments we're going to make a brightness and contrast layer we're going to turn it up to whatever we want <coughs> it won't really matter because we have it at nine percent so we can control how much and the same exact thing except on all these highlights right here see like the highlights of the jersey and stuff the wrinkles we are going to paint those brighter it's just going to give it more of a 3D sort of look, make uh, the shadows and the highlights contrast even more. So I will see you guys whenever I'm done with this. And here we go guys this is after our brightness and contrast you can see what that does just you know this is after everything we've done right here this makes it look a bit better the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go above everything and we're gonna add a curves create clipping mask I like to drag my highlights up and then I like to bring my shadows down in this case we can really 
probably leave our shadows about the same and just drag our highlights down a little bit. Or bring our shadows down rather. And yeah, I like that right there. Now what we're gonna do is go back in, add a selective color, clipping mask it again. We can turn the or hold on. You can see how we're on the reds right here. We're gonna turn these blacks up. What we're gonna do here is just sort of make this color richer, you can see. And I like to usually add some magenta or some cyan in there. Let's see if we like this, you can pick whatever color. We keep it about right there. Transistor is gonna make it more red or more blue. Let's actually make it more red. Yeah, I like that. Yellows, this we're gonna mess with next. In terms of the richness of our yellows. I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna do it this time. It's kind of like the way that looks. I'm gonna turn it up all the way to 64. We're gonna turn down our yellows a bit. This is dealing with greens or reds. We're gonna keep it about 25 cyans. We're gonna turn our cyans up to about nine. So there we go before and after of our selective color. The next thing we can do is add a, there's a bunch of steps to this, but this is just what I like to do personally to make it look the best I can. Adjustments, hue and saturation, saturation all the way down. Create clipping mask again, control I. Then you're gonna right click and turn your hardness all the way up. Come up here and turn your flow all the way up. On your white brush still, and all these whites, we're just gonna paint them white. Right, and we're not gonna hit any of the blue or any of the red. Just the whites right here. We're just gonna desaturate them so all that the green color you can see, we're just gonna make that go away. It looks a lot better when you do that, in my opinion. So I'll see you right after I'm done with this. This is how we're looking after our hue and saturation. You can see this green tint before and this after. The next thing we're gonna do is Hold on. Okay, the next thing we'll do, we'll add one more levels. This step doesn't take that long. We're gonna drag our, drag our levels all the way down to where it's just straight black. Clipping mask, control I. Hardness all the way down. Flow at nine. And anywhere like, say on these elbows maybe, on these armpits, on his neck, maybe up here by his face. We're just gonna wanna make those darker. Just to uh, give it more depth, I think. I just like to do it cause it looks good. I'm trying to give it an excuse why it looks good cause I'm honestly not sure. But yeah, I think it just gives it more depth. good one last step or really two but they're really quick steps so all we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here with our hue and saturation you can see we just turned down our saturation uh, we clipping masking we press control I we're gonna turn our flow up to 100 come out here on these white parts of the eye only the white part don't hit the pupils because we want those to have some color and we will paint in pupils just like this Boom, right there. And then we can hit some brightness and contrast. Maybe about 40. Maybe that will look good. Sometimes it uh, looks like too much. But after you just paint it on, you can go and adjust it to your liking. So let's see. Let's see if we turn it all the way up too much. Bring it down to about right there. 
23. Alright, and that's going to be it, guys, for the camera filter or for our player treatment. You can see that before and after right there. Pretty huge difference. Actually, it's an even bigger. That's our before and after right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, it helped y'all out. And if y'all want, in the next video, maybe I can add some a light source and some highlights and shadows. Let me know if y'all want that or if y'all want something else. I appreciate y'all and I'll see y'all. Peace.